Hi everyone, welcome. Today we're going to take a look at HashiCorp Vault. Uh, my name is JJ, John Jarvis, and I'm a technical consultant here at uh, Summerford Associates. Um, Vault's all about secrets management. Um, you can use it to manage externally generated secrets like um, key material or certificates. Um, but you can also use it to, to actually generate those, those um, secrets, and which we'll then manage. And that's what we're going to talk about or have a look at today, and specifically database credentials, dynamic database credentials, meaning that without the admins or any, anybody doing anything explicit, after a certain amount of time, these credentials will, will expire. And you can imagine the use, utility of that. So we're just going to fire up a development server vault just, um, to give us a, um, an environment to work in quickly. So I'll get our command line back there, and I'm going to export the uh, um, address to the non-TLS um, version because, again, we're just doing this quickly. It's not a production instance. So that should give us a, a vault UI. And as you can see there, my token is Summerford. Oops. <clears throat> Here we are with the root token again. Not advised, <laughs> but fine for today. <clears throat> the dev server gives you a secrets engine for key value store immediately, in case that's what you want to do. We actually want to fire up the database um, secrets engine, though. So first thing we're going to do is enable it on uh, a custom path. Everything involves a path. Demo database. We're going to get some feedback here from binary itself um, because it's, it's pumping to the command line. Hopefully that's not too confusing for you. Yes, now if we look, we should see, oops, um, should see our database secrets engine. First thing we're going to want to do is configure the connection to the database. This is a one-time thing that happens that's done by the admin ahead of time, basically. Um, <clears throat> I've got a MySQL um, database in the background. Pardon me while I just get grab up the command line. So quickly, you see here. Um, when we're doing the configuring, talking about a path in Vault, reading and writing. We're writing the, um, the configuration right now. Importantly, the plugin name is um, MySQL. There's a bunch of different secrets engines, um, d database secrets engine plugins, um, Postgres, uh, many others. Um, and the connection is templated here, so nothing sensitive is going to be stored. I set up a database user ahead of time. Note the demo role. So this is an endpoint. This is the only endpoint that we're going to have right now. Um, and that will now be part of our connection. So that's one bit of the one time um, setup. And you see here, that's no sensitive information. The other bit is actually creating the role itself. So that's going to be another write to that endpoint. Grab that. Um, there we go. So we're going to write to this um, this endpoint. Which database is it? That's the connection we've made already. And the important bit about the roles, right? So when you're when you're um, hitting an, a role endpoint, you're creating a user, and, and the creation is literally the SQL statements that you'd need. So um, I've got a um, classic models database in my database already that we're going to set up access to. Important bit, TTL. So default, this these creds are going to be good for an hour. It could be used, um, renewed, up to 24 hours in this case. So we'll do that. Success. And now if we go in here, we should see that as well. Otherwise, we just could, would have got a 404. There we go. All the same sorts of information there. <clears throat> Okay, so if we go back to the main, the overview in this case, we could generate credentials here, but let's do it. Um, just show off the overview screen here. We have a bunch of different roles that could be listed here, and it's really accessible. Boom, just like that. And and that's it. We've got creds now. So I'm just going to copy these off. So I've got them for um, uh, using later. That used earlier. Apologies. Okay, copy. All right, so we've saved those for later. <clears throat> Let's have a look 
um, and see if they work. So my SQL statement user is oops user is and password is they do work. Okay, so if we show databases, you see classic models in there. We use that. And we can list all the customers, for example. So that's all working, which is great. Now, if we, um, a lot of the things that we can do in, in Vault, we can, um, well, everything really is, a, is an API um, endpoint. These, com this command line and the, um, the UI, they're just nice human wrappers for it. So one example is, let's let's see what um, information we can get on the lease from, uh, from the command line. So again, we're doing a write. This is, a, this is an administrative endpoint here. Again, we've got the root token, so it's not a big deal. Um, a lot of times, uh, token lookups are available um, to the tokens themselves, but everything else is going to be privileged. Okay. So if we, we can see here that we generated these creds what, what, about two minutes ago because there's 58 minutes left in that in that TTL. But you notice there's nothing sensitive here. Um, again, all this information is available in the UI, in this case leases. So there's a lease associated with our token as I just said, but there's also a lease associated with these creds. Here it is, not as um, exact in the uh, UI, but you get the idea. And we can re revoke the lease. We could renew it as well. Renews down here. Let's revoke it and see what happens. So we revoke that. And now, some output there from the, uh, the binary on the command line. Let's have a, um, a go again at um, trying to log into that database. So I'll just grab my password again. Oops, sorry. And now we're getting um, a failure because that those creds are no longer valid. Just prove <laughs> that I didn't actually <laughs> paste in junk there. Like that is the actual password, and it did not work. So yeah, I hope that gives you an idea of what. Um, some of the things you can do with HashiCorp Vault. Again, this is this is the nice um, human uh, interface to to the tool, but um, you can also work with the command line. And you can imagine where the command line would be useful and the and the, and the API as well in terms of um, automation and pipelines and doing these sorts of commands, generating these sorts of um, accounts automatically. Um, thanks for watching.